Happy Wednesday. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And if you're going out to the Chautauqua County Fair this afternoon, in Dunkirk, here's what you can expect. Probably not a very good day to go out. We'll have tropical like rain throughout the day, but please keep in mind it's not going to be raining all day. There's going to be pockets of on again, off again rain, but because it's tropical in nature, there, there will be heavy downpours and temperatures cooler today because the remnants of Barry have actually merged with a cold front. So that's why we're cooler. So temperatures into the uh, mid to upper 70s, but the humidity way up there. So even though it's cooler, it's not going to make it feel any less humid. And we're going to be pretty much stuck in oppressive level humidity pretty much throughout the next five or six days. It's not going to be until mid, pretty much uh, mid next week when we start to drop the humidity value. So again, this is really going to be tropical like humidity over the next several days. So air conditioners, fans, do whatever you can to stay cool. And of course, the power grids are going to be taxed during this BPU, National Grid, NYSEG. Hopefully we get away without any power problems because we definitely don't need that when it's very warm and humid. Now, uh, NOAA Storm Prediction Center does have the far southern and eastern port portion of the southern tier under a less than average marginal risk for severe thunderstorms this afternoon. That's a level one out of five. But really the main threat is going to be a tropical like downpours throughout the day. But if any storms do become strong or severe, it's going to be a gusty wind threat. But we don't expect that. It's really going to be heavy rain throughout the day. And speaking about the heat and humidity, the Weather Service has issued a heat watch for areas north of here. This is basically borders counties near the Lake Ontario shoreline. Here, uh, heat indices could top 105 to 110 degrees. Now, now, down in the southern tier, the heat indices won't be that extreme, but it will still be pretty bad. Uh, but uh, we'll see if a heat advisory is issued uh, by the Weather Service uh, over the next 24 or so hours. Here's future scan through the day. This model picks up on the tropical rain. And again, it's not going to be raining all day everywhere, but where it does rain, it's going to be heavy in nature. We're looking at possibly about an inch to two inches in some of the heaviest tropical rain today. That all clears out of here tonight, and then it leads to a gorgeous uh, Thursday, but much more humid and much more warmer as well as temperatures really soar uh, into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Now, this is the heat indices. Uh, this uh, takes into effect the air temperature and the humidity to make it the feels like temperature. This is tomorrow afternoon. Heat indices will be into the upper 80s, a few lower 90s. And then watch what happens as we go into Friday. The humidity really spikes up and we're talking heat indices mid to upper 90s across the southern tier to lower 100s across uh, pretty much areas from Buffalo to Niagara Falls out to Rochester. And again, um, for a heat advisory, uh, we need 95 degree heat indices uh, to get a heat advisory. So we'll see if the Weather Service will issue a, a heat advisory for the southern tier because these are very dangerous levels of heat indices. It's very hot and very humid. So up on the seven day here, 75 today because again, cooler with the cold front, 88 tomorrow. There's 90 on Friday. Again, we contemplated a lot about putting 90 in the forecast because we don't hit it very often down here, but we think we have a good shot at hitting 90 both Friday and Saturday. And it's just very hot and very uncomfortable like air. And again, it's not going to be until next Tuesday when we start to see the temperatures really start to dip and the humidity take a dive as well.